let's create an amazing pie chart in under five minutes. Hi, this is Les from Power Up Training, where I share my decades of corporate experience with you for free. This tutorial is designed for the Mac version of PowerPoint. If you're using a Windows version, look for the link above. That covers the same topic, but just for Windows. And do stay tuned to the end to learn about our advanced PowerPoint pie chart tutorial. When I say go, you're gonna learn how to build this pie chart from nothing to success in five minutes. So let's power up and go. Starting on a blank slide, there are two methods to get a chart. The first technique, go to the insert ribbon menu, click the chart action icon drop down menu and select pie. We're gonna start with the standard 2D pie. Click and done. It's that easy. But let me close down the data entry sheet and delete the chart so I can show you the second method. In the slide placeholder, find the very small chart icon and click, and again, choose pie and the first design choice. Both techniques give you the same results. A sample chart with a pop-up data entry screen that's really Microsoft Excel spreadsheets. You could replace the data inside, but let me erase it so that I can show you the different choices out there. It's important to put the title in the cell B1 and the description labels in column A. Then follow up and put the numbers in column B. For the labels and the number, the order you type in the data does not matter. But do see that as I type the numbers, the chart starts to build out. When done, click the top left corner red dot of the data Excel sheet. Don't worry, all the data is saved inside the PowerPoint file. But when I proofread my work, I see two problems. I misspelled car with two R's and our entertainment category is missing. So with the chart selected, I click chart design menu and the edit data action icon. Back in the Excel sheet, and I can now fix my spelling error. The legend automatically gets updated and now to capture the entertainment element. I need to go back into PowerPoint and click the select data. The select data source menu looks very complex, more than needed. Ignore all the entry boxes. When it is live, just go back to the Excel data sheet, reselect all the data, title, labels, and numbers, click OK, and now our last row of entertainment is added to the chart. There's our pie chart created in two minutes, but it's not pretty yet. Make sure the chart is selected, then click Chart Design, and go to the left so as to explore Quick Layout. Here, PowerPoint has given us some visual clues of a variety of different combinations. We can choose to have the percentages displayed inside each pie piece, or the location of the legend could be top or right or bottom, or the legend titles inside of each of the pie slices. Pick what works for you, and PowerPoint does all the work for you. I'm gonna go with showing both the labels and the percentage inside the chart for quick identifications. But I wanna customize it even more. Specifically, I don't like the labels inside. Now, start to experiment with the chart designs. It's important to know that these design offerings will change based on the existing chart. Meaning that if I had earlier elected only to show the percentages and not the labels, then all the chart design choices would only be with percentages. So choose the quick layout first, and then you can go back and refine your choices. Let's go with the choice of moving the label and the percentages outside the slices to make them more readable. Next, we get to add a final touch of color. Click the change colors and get a wider variety of color coordinated choices, including some for a monochrome look. Let me go with the distinctive warm color collection. For my demo chart, the font choice is weak, but here's both a tip and a warning. 
These color and font choices are dependent upon the slide design theme. Change the theme and the chart colors and fonts change will also follow. Watch as I try on a few different design themes, which will impact the whole presentation. So maybe you should pick the design theme first for the overall presentation before changing the individual slides. See our whole masterclass series on building PowerPoint presentations. Last, the chart title. To change it, just click once, and click again to get the flashing insert iBeam cursor to add in your own text. Or if you choose to delete the title box, the chart will automatically resize. Then put the title on the slide title to better introduce the slide if it is the main item of focus. So there you go, from zero to great in under five minutes. Next up is our advanced pie chart tutorial, or check out the 27 different pie chart video to go beyond just the pie chart. Until next time, go power up.